Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use this traditional switch work with King Kony A-Series ESP32 board by IS485. So you can use any traditional switch. You can see just this launch mode. So let's look at how to do this step by step. Okay, let's look at my computer and you can see this is HAV2. This is smart module. So this smart module will use for this uh, traditional switch and uh, let it become smart, become add to IS485 bus. And it's very small, you can see that is very small. And we will connect with the DC 12 volt power supply, or you can also use 24 volt. And this is communication for IS485. And this have a terminal that have K1 to K6 that is connect with your switch button. And this D1 to D6, that is LD state feedback. feedback. Uh, this video, I'm not using this one. I just want to use this traditional switch to continually on and off because this switch uh, without LD indicate at this button. Because some switch maybe have some LD indicate on the uh, panel, but usually the traditional switch will without uh, this LD, just only for on and for off. So we just need to use this, uh, this line, uh, K1 to K6. And before you use it, uh, you need to just configure your software by your PC. So we can use this USB convert, as uh, 45 convert, uh, connect with this small module, and use this PC software. You can see, uh, this is my PC software. I will uh, set this six button to continue which relay. So you can see this channel one, the first button, I want to continue relay one, so I input one. The second button, I want to continue relay two, so I change to relay two. So you can change by yourself. If you want to continue the eight channel relay, you just input eight. So this is very easy because you can use multi HAV2 board in one IS45 bus. Um, maybe you have used 20 picks, uh, Max will have support 25 picks of this HA board. And every HA board, you can see Max support six buttons. So it's enough for you to use. So even if 32 channel or 64 channel, no problem. And you can see, we can set this event and this rising and the four falling edge just means you press this button and up and press this button down. So we just set with tugging. Uh, that can set on or off and nothing and tugging. So we will let this traditional switch even if on and off, just tugging the release state. So that will change the release state. So just uh, as this setting, you can click uh, apply to and click save fresh. And after your configure setting for this HAV2 module, and you can open this KCS firmware web page of A32 Pro. You can see that is the home page. And we should go to this protocol and generate, and you should enable this IS485 protocol. And this protocol type, you choose this HA, Modbus HA. And this is standard Modbus protocol. And because we want to connect with the King Kong HA board, that is private uh, mode. A mode bus protocol so you can choose this one and you can see this local address i set to one because i have already set this target relay control address one so this one and this one should equal so if you have set a two and you can set it here is two because you maybe you will use multi actually uh, board okay and this is brand rate 9600 because uh, we have used this one also you use this 9600 and this is date bit and this setting just as uh, this setting and not need to change it okay this is how to set this kcs firmware for a32 pro used for hav2 board okay let's look at the smart module how it works with a32 pro relay controller okay let's look at this a32 pro relay controller that have a s485 interface uh, you can see it here a and B. So I have already connected with this small module. You can see this is HAV2. Uh, this is the power, power LED. The two red LED, this is power LED. 
And another one, you can see at here, that is blink, that is running. And this cable also is removable, you can see. It's removable. So you can connect with this cable uh, to your uh, switch button. And this I have connect with this power supply. Uh, for DC 12 watt, you can connect to your power supply. So you can use this small module and just place it into this uh, wall switch box. You can see. Uh, you, you can see I can put this in the box and uh, let this cable or inside of the box. Then you can connect with this this one. So that you can just use as this this way. And also, if you have a UR repo, you can see the size is different. And this one and this one is different. But this module is also very small, so you can see it's very easy to put in the box. So you just connect with this this one and to your wall switch panel. Okay, that's it. Let's test it. And you can see uh, this is the first cable. I can find out uh, this is the K1 first cable. I have set the software to country relay one. And you can see this is the ground. You can see I use this K1 cable. Shut that relay is on. You can see the LED indicator first one. If I release, that will be off. So you can see I shut again. That will be change the relay state. So this can use for the traditional switch. Because if we use this traditional switch, we want this on and off. Every position will change the relay state. Okay, so you just connect with this one and to this one. You can see at the back of the traditional switch uh, that have a diagram at here, have a diagram. L1 is calm, and this L11 is normal close. And L12 is normal open. So we just connect with this L1 calm and L12 normal open. Just you can see this L1 and this L12. So these two different holes we will connect with this cable and ground. And also you can let all L1, L2, L3, L4 connect together just with one ground and connect to this small module. Okay, this demo I will connect with just one channel. I want to save the time. So I will connect with L1 and L12. So you can see I use this black cable and I connect with this L1, uh, this is L1. So I fix it. If you want connect to the second channel and the third channel and the fourth channel, you just connect or come together with this one to ground. So you can see this is the uh, K1. I connect with this L12. This is normal open L12. So I can just connect at it. And fix it. Fix it. And this black line just connect to this one. Uh, you can see this terminal have a hole that for ground. Okay. Now you can see I have connect uh, this only to one and to this small module. So you can see. I can have a test. You can see this one, button one, on, off, on, off. You can see this is working, just this one. So if you want connect with the second or third or fourth channel, you just connect to this different normal open by this cable, uh, just this row, the first row this cable and connect with different buttons. Okay, we can put it at this box and at here, so you can see, I can control it. Now you can see, I can use this traditional switch for on and for off. But many you will ask me, how about the mobile phone application, where the release date will update? 
So now I will show you how it works. And you can see this is a Tuya mobile phone application. And that's, this is A32 Pro. You can see. Uh, and you can see there are 32 channel switch and a two channel dimmer and a four channel digital input monitor the sensor state. And you can see I can on and off. This is by Tuya mobile phone. And you can see if I use this traditional switch on, and can, you can see the Tuya mobile phone will be on. Off, and that will be off. So if I turn on by mobile phone, and I can use this one for off. So this time you can see the up is off. And if I turn on and turn off, you can see also it work well by this traditional switch. And I can also turn on at this mobile phone and turn off at here and turn on by mobile phone and turn off by this switch. So just this button just for talking this release state. Uh, either this one and this one, two different operation, all is talking the relay. So you can use this to your mobile phone and this switch work at the same time. And also you can use Alexa speak or Google Home speak voice controlling this A32 Pro relay controller. So this is how to use this traditional switch work with the King Kong ESP32 relay controller. Thanks for watching.